Welcome back to Fantasy Football 101 on Sports Radio 1450 and SportsRadio1450.com. A little Beastie Boys action. Yeah. Nice. I saw Beastie Boys back in 99. Live. Nice. Nice. Nice show. Yeah, yeah. We're talking Fantasy Football 101 this morning here on Sports Radio 1450-529-1450. You can email us as well, fantasyfootball101 at gmx.com. You can also become a fan on Facebook and check us out on the Dublin Pub webcam, which uh, right now you can see to the left of me is my uh, trophy, one of two that I won last year. <sighs> that one broke. Yeah, it <laughs> broke. It actually broke. Uh, we have a, our buddy Paul, who won last year or the year before in 09, he or 08, actually. Uh, he lives in Cincinnati, and then he's in the Coast Guard, so he's actually living in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, and shipped it all the way from Mount Pleasant, cost him like 2750 or something, and the damn thing broke. <laughs> <laughs> There's supposed to be two little football guys on top of that, but no. I don't know. It looks okay. It looks yeah. okay next to me. It's kind of heavy. I bet it is. I don't know if you can handle that, Eric. <laughs> I don't, 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 give, don't give it to him. He'll never see it. Oh, uh, what? I just showed up today. Wow. I didn't even want Well, and Eric just showed up in our league, and what are you, in second to last? No? Right. Yeah, I moved well, up a spot. I moved, I moved up a spot. <laughs> <laughs> I started dead last. Uh, right, right. Well, you, know, you got Tom Brady, at least. I'm going to show you guys. <laughs> <laughs> 529 1450 is the phone number. We got a couple on the line. Let's go to them. Good morning. You're on Fantasy Football 101. Go ahead. Hi, guys. Good morning. Hi. Love the show. You guys do an awesome job. Thank you. Um, I'm wondering which quarterback I should start this week. Um, um, I have Palmer, who had a great game last week against the Patriots, but plays a top Ravens defense. Yep. Or should I start Hasselback, who has a much easier matchup versus the Broncos? Thanks. I'll hang up and listen to you guys. Uh, All right. Thanks for the phone call. 529-1450 is the phone number. Told you, 30 million people play fantasy football. Yeah. Yeah, that, even girls. Good job. That's awesome. That's real awesome. Um, After my heart. We didn't get her name, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, we should let her know that Nicarelli is officially available online. <laughs> what is that, like Zeus? Oh, Zeus? I hate you so much. <laughs> Are you on the Zeus or e one, Which one? One week. I just want one week where you guys just leave me alone. I was going to. For God's sake. Thanks, Mark. But when it's on a tee, you know, you got to yeah. hit Sitting it on right a ballpark. There. Now back to the question. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Palmer or Hasselbeck? Quit dancing I, around the question. I, 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 I can't start Hasselbeck. I don't care if he's playing Children of the Poor. I, I just can't do it. He's, he's burned me too much in the past three or four years. Palmer is back to playing real well. Yeah, they're going up against a, a good defense, but they're a little thin in the defensive backfield. So I still think you'll be able to pass. I, I've got to play Palmer over Hasselbeck. Yeah, I agree. I agree. He's a safer play. Um even though it is a tougher matchup this week, it still it seems like Palmer's going to air it out no matter who they play against this year. Sure. So, and Hasselback, like you said, Mark, he's just how do you no how do you no. confidently plug him in? Even it's it's like Lee Evans. I, I mean, Ooh. you just you, you can't not quite that. Bad. Well, I know, but close. Okay. <laughs> I hate Lee. Well, I think it is close. It's it's kind of like the you know Delhomme's out. I mean, but who's ever playing him? And then you yeah. Know, Hasselbeck is someone you don't have on your team. You try to not. Honestly. If, I mean, he might be your backup. Hopefully it's just that her, her backup and, you know, you only yeah. have to play him one time this year. But, yeah, you just got to play Palmer because that that offense is all about Carson Palmer's arm. So you got you to gotta keep yeah. him in the lineup. And is Champ Bailey hurt or something? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. 529-1450 is the phone number. We have to bring you our studs, duds, and sleepers very soon, but we've got a bunch of phone calls. Let's go to them, 529-1450. Good morning. You're on Fantasy Football 101. Go ahead. First of all, yeah, you will be my life partner. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think about picking up G-Rock? Who? I didn't. Is he a rapper? Who? I don't know. I don't know. Is it G-Rod or G-Rock? Is that a... I thought it was E-Rock. I thought he yeah. was. I thought well, he was having a fantasy I, team I can, of the four of us. I, I already told you guys I got a huge arm and <laughs> <laughs> point accuracy, and I actually I'm pretty mobile for a guy who's almost thirty. Nice. Yeah. I don't know who that. I don't know. I honestly don't. But know I would who keep E-Rock on your bench. I would take me five two nine four two exuberance. Hey, well, if you guys would ever invite me to the no, you're playing. The you're playing this. Game, year. No, you you're see. playing this year for right. sure. I already. Yeah, you've already got it lined up. Got that lined up. <laughs> and you're the QB. 
529-1450 is the phone number. Let's go to another phone call. Good morning. You're on Fantasy Football 101. Go ahead. Hey, good morning, gentlemen. How are you? Let me turn my radio down. All right. Yeah, yeah boy. Hey, here I am. How'd you okay. do in week one? Oh, I stunk. <laughs> <laughs> had that great lineup, and he stunk. No, I, yeah, Drew Brees only got 15 points. I had two wide receivers. One scored two points, the other didn't oh. score any. Hey, I, I feel oh, your so, pain, you know. Yeah, well, that's right. Better days ahead. There you go. Right? Keep hit, looking forward. Hit three out of four. All right. Okay. Running backs flex. Okay. Braylon Jackson, um, uh, Ryan Matthews, Ahmad Bradshaw, or Cedric Benson. Your last three. The last three is who I'd suggest again. Brandon Jackson. Uh, I'm just not sold. I gotta wait until I see how he's gonna play as as an every down back. Matthews had kind of a tough week. He's got a little bit better matchup. I like him a lot. Uh, uh, Bradshaw, I'll speak of him later. He's my uh, uh, sleeper of the week. I love Bradshaw this week. I think he's going to have a dynamite week. You have to start any running back going up against uh, yeah, that, so in, that indie run, D. You have to plug in Bradshaw. Yep. Do you think ought to sit Jackson? Uh, until, well, no, you know, here's the problem. We haven't seen him play yet. He's played the last couple of years in bits and pieces. He looks okay. Now he's going to be the every down back. I want to see yeah. him play every down a game or two before I get jump on that Brandon Jackson bandwagon yet. I would be tempted, though, to maybe plug him in instead of said Benson against uh, the Baltimore you, team. That's, 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 the, that's, that's a good yeah. point. Yeah, I was thinking about That's what I think about. I just want to see what, what you guys thought. The other question, okay, pick two wide receivers. I don't, <laughs> okay, and don't laugh. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. You're yeah, already Brian. laughing. I'm sorry, uh, Dez. Dez Ryan. Okay, Nate Washington or Jacoby, Jacoby Jones? Pick two of those? Yeah. Man, definitely Des Bryant. Yeah, we okay. talked about Des Bryant off the air, Adam and I did, and uh, we both loved Des Bryant this week. Uh, he had a number of targets, as Nick really pointed out to us. He had, uh, I think, what did you say? Eight, eight catches. Eight catches last week, and this week I think looks better for him. I think he'll score this week and have a, a, a load of catches. Okay, how about Nate Washington and uh, Jacoby Jones? I might Washington be... Washington did well, I mean, last week, you know. And did he's he? in the... Th I think... Uh, Nate Washington, the, uh, three catches, 88 yards, and a touch. Mm. Right. I mean, that's point. Yeah. That's more yeah. than I had. <laughs> yeah, right, right. And Jacoby Jones right now is the third wide receiver. Why, I don't know. He should be over Walter. And they're playing uh, uh, Washington defense, so... The, between Washington and Jacoby Jones is the second. That's that's a tough call. I'd be tempted to uh, maybe right now run with, you know, Washington's an every down uh, receiver. Let's go with that as opposed to Jacoby Jones getting on there, you know, about every third or fourth play. Yeah. And, okay. You know, he, uh, oh, I see. They play, okay, every third, fourth. Okay. Yeah. Listen, thanks very much for your help. I'll, I'll call you next week. <laughs> Good. All right. Good man. luck. Okay. Thanks a lot. 529-1450 is the phone number, 529-1450. Yeah, you got to go with the every down receiver. Um, you know, Jacoby Jones, nice player. And, you know, he's a, I think we've all talked about him being a sleeper this year, but not someone you need to start uh, right now until he, you know, proves himself. And that, that defense for Washington, not too bad. I no. think, actually, no, Shad might have his... I might have his hands full uh, this week. And we'll bring you our studs, duds, and sleepers here in a matter of moments. Stay listening. You're listening to Fantasy Football 101 on Sports Radio 1450.